As Brexit looms on the horizon, the question of leaving the EU has spread to Ireland. Following an iBrexit conference in the RDS this Saturday and the recent formation of the DCU Brexit Institute, we asked DCU students if they would consider supporting an iBrexit. Uh, I don't think so. I think like there's obviously a lot of benefits to it, like you know we get free trade and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think so. I don't think it's a good idea. It hasn't seemed to work well for Britain anyway, so I don't know. I wouldn't know, because like the EU, every year obviously with the Irish, the government, they get money off the EU and all that, so it would be hard for us to back ourselves financially if we left, I think. I think it's very na it's a very beautiful thing that you all are um, allowing people from the other EU nations to come here, and that should continue, and everybody should live in peace and harmony as much as possible. True, but I think considering how far out we are, Europe, like we're like the far west of it, like so. I think, and with Britain in between us as well, I think that would just cause even more problems if you weren't in the EU as well. No, being part of the EU has so much benefits to it, like free travel and other things like that. I don't think it would be beneficial for Ireland to leave. DCU lecturer Karen Devine spoke at the conference last Saturday. Devine said she is neither for or against an IR exit, but is heavily critical of Ireland's EU relationship. Um, well, I would love it if our government did their job. <laughs> Uh, I would love it if the basically the common fisheries policy was abolished. I know that fishing is very important to coastal communities and um, rural communities on, on, on along the coasts, and in a way, it sustains communities. Divine called for the abolition of the bailout to free up money to reinvest into the Irish economy, and for Ireland to leave the common security and defence policy. I don't think it's a good idea for us to get involved in. Um, what is said to be operating on the principle of a single set of forces. So if we're going to help the French do what they do in, in, in Africa, uh, in their former colonies, looking after their own interests there, I don't think that that's the right, just and moral thing to do. Niall O'Donoghue, DCU TV News.